What is up, everybody? What's happening? You are tuning in to episode nine. Can't believe it's nine episodes already. Uh, should be more than that, but needs to say we're not. <laughs> we lost four. <laughs> we lost four of them. With, with a new episode of the Trifecta Podcast, I'm your man, Tiller May Boy, as usual, here with Sincere B and Red 1167. Fellas, it's almost the end of the week. How are you guys doing today? Chilling, oh, man. Doing all right, right, man. Yeah. Anything uh, interesting or spectacular happened to you guys at all this week? Um, yeah, we finally gonna get some cold weather. You can have that shit, man. I'll pass. Yeah, you, you can take hours too. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll pass. I don't. I definitely don't want some serious, man. He can he can have every bit of that. <laughs> every bit of that cold and rain at the same time. Mm-hmm. Hell no, nah. no. Nah, I'll I'll pass. Mm-hmm. So I wish it was seven a.m. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, the lineup we got for you guys today is going to be interesting. We're going to talk about social media beef and drama and all types of other little things to kind of give our our take on it. And uh, also, the worst experiences you ever had in school. That's actually a uh, a question that was brought to us by one of my subscribers on my channel, um, and wanted to talk about something in regards to school and as a kid. So I figured I would combine the two together and, um, and uh, kind of give us a double, give double, us a double thing. thing. Um, Reyes is going to give us some information about some French, new French law that actually passed. And also he wants to talk about Mass Effect, the new uh, game being released in March. Then uh, Cecile has things that three people, that or three things that people should watch for, not three people things should watch for. Um, and then we're going to end it on funny stories. So um, I want to go ahead and go first with this. And I want to talk about um, social media beef, man. Because, I mean, it's been a lot of... It's been a lot of a lot of stuff happening. Like, you see things as far as, like, uh, people get killed. People get into fights because someone, you know, saying stuff about another person on their Twitter. And going on someone on their Instagram comments and... YouTube drama and beef and all this other shit, man. So, really, um, my question that I want to have for you guys is, uh, one, how do you feel about it? Um, Two, do you find it entertaining? And three, what do you think an individual should do to stay stay clear of anything in regards to something like that? Red, I think a camera on Red's. What should I be? Your camera is on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, it's like, it's, are y'all lagging? Or just me? I hear lag. Yeah, I'm getting lagged too. Okay. Okay, it's going on now. Yeah, I don't hear nothing. Kind of like a stuttering effect. Everything's cool now. Yeah, I don't hear it right now. Yeah, I don't hear it neither. All right. Um, hey, I, I'll go ahead and, and, and answer that, man. Um, as far as entertaining... A while back, I thought I, I thought it was kind of entertaining, mm-hmm. you know. It's like the initial the initial um, the initial part of it when it first starts, maybe a, a little entertaining. But after a while, it gets I mean, it gets old and stale fast, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, as, as far as um, like staying away from it, yeah, I try to because. Um, um, I'm trying to trying to get this whole new positive vibe thing going. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And dealing with that negativity, it doesn't doesn't work. Doesn't help. Yeah, I I I, I definitely stay away from it now. Um, what do you, what you got about it, uh, sincere? Is you still here? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Yeah. I heard, I heard a bunch of crackling. It's crackling when Red speaking. That's why I, didn't, I thought maybe it was me. So I started to restart it real quick. Is 
Let's just, let's just start over. Okay. I got you. All right. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, walk out the room for a second. Hold on. Yeah, that's bad. Hey, B, can you hear me okay? Yeah, 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 I hear you. So you got a fan on the back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to, um, I had to switch up like quick. What, what are you using? What are you using now? Um, my Chromebook. Oh, okay. I was on my iPhone because um, I was trying to hook up some stuff in the, in the living room. So. All right, I'm back. All right, I am. Oh, damn. All right, so All right. let me know when you're all ready. I'm ready. Okay. You good, Rich? Yep. All right, cool. And three, two, one. What's up, everybody? What's happening? What's going on? You're tuned in to a new episode, episode nine of the Trifecta Podcast. Um, your man, Taylor Made Boy, here as usual with Sincere B and Rage 1167. Fellas, good to, to, good to talk to you gentlemen again. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? How you feeling, man? How y'all feeling? I'm, I'm, I'm floating, man. I'm feeling great. Uh, hopefully it's not drinking that uh, homemade wine. <laughs> I wish. Oh, I wish. <laughs> what about yourself, yeah. Sincere? I'm good, man. I'm chilling. I'm good. As usual, guys, uh, we are back to give you our take on different topics and everything as usual. So, uh, line up for the day. We have uh, social media beef. Kind of give our take on as far as like uh, our thoughts about it and how we feel as far as like what can be avoided about it. And whether or not if it's actually entertaining for, you know, either us or, you know, just, just kind of just giving our thoughts. I mean, really, it's just going to be spitballing a lot of stuff. Um, the other thing is actually a question that I got from one of my subscribers in the last podcast. Um, he wanted us to talk about something dealing with, uh, with school, but then also a, an experience as a kid. So I figured <laughs> I would put it together and um, us give our worst experience that we've ever had in school. So it can be in between, you know, elementary, middle school, high school, college, if you went to college, and you can just kind of give your your worst experience that you ever had. Um, then Reg is going to give us some information about a new French law that that was passed that um, a lot of us don't know about. And then also he wanted to talk about the new Mass Effect game coming out in uh, March as well, too. And then Sincere will we'll end us off with three things that people should watch for. And then also uh, we're gonna he's going to give us some funny stories and um i definitely look forward to that a lot because um it's always going to be some stupid shit that some young to cat some young thunder cats out here doing uh nowadays so uh first i'll start us off with the uh social media beef man um we've seen so much shit happen uh last year you know with youtube drama and not only just youtube but then also you know people really getting into fights with other individuals because of Stuff seen over Instagram and on Twitter and on Facebook and seeing videos as far as people getting into fights with other individuals because of something someone said on Facebook. So my question that I have for you guys is um, how you feel about social media before one? Uh, if you find it entertaining and then what can be done as far as um, to keep that from happening or, you know, to stay clear from that? Yeah. Go ahead, Rich. Um, yeah, uh, 
you know, back in the back in the day, I used to I used to think it was kind of entertaining a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, but um, not so much now. I, it's like now I stay clear of it. I I can't stand it, man. It's, you know that negative. You know, can't deal with it. Um, so what about what about it had you entertain about the uh, well, about the drama at first? And it, like a lot of times. Um, and, you know, like celebrities. Mm-hmm. I mean, you get, hold on. You got this nice big house. You got all this, um, you got this status quo kind of thing going. And, and you ain't got nothing better to do than to argue with somebody else over something stupid. Yeah, that's, you know? that's absolutely true. <laughs> I mean, you got all this. Here, I, you know, here I am struggling, trying to make ends meet. And you get, you get call up. You know, anybody can get anything you, at any time you want. And you sitting there arguing over, you know, somebody wore this dress better than this person. Come on. Yeah, that is... It's quite dumb. Quite dumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what, what, would you, what would your advice be for anyone to um, stay clear of the actual drama itself? Um, when you... We, a lot of times there are like telltale signs that is about to pop off. Mm-hmm. Just, just ignore it, forget it. Um, don't even read it. You know. Yeah. Just find something positive to do. You know. Yeah. What do you think about this, here? Um, I don't know, man. Something about it kind of pulls you in now. I don't know if it's the fact that you kind of going there and kind of looking for. Uh, things to prove that person lying and then find things the other persons find out they lie. It's something that draws you to to that shit. I don't know what it is. So I watch it sometimes. I don't really like it mm-hmm. and I only watch some types of it. If it gets really too personal, I don't watch those. Right. But if it's just like some silly words, you know, I I I, I watch that. And um, I think it's dumb though, man. I think people just need to just just chill, man. Chill and do your own thing and stop hating on other people. I don't get the hating on other people thing. But why are you mad at somebody else and what they do on each channel? I don't get that. It's, I, Does it? I think a lot of it has to do with the simple fact that they see a level of success that that person is having that they want. It's almost as if like you get somebody that has some nice shit and because you don't have it, you hate the fact that that individual has it. And yeah. you're willing to do whatever it, whatever it takes to get exactly what that person has. Yeah, man, that's that's shame, man. That's shame, man. Um, and what I think can be do, done about it, really, just mind your own business, man. Or get you a crew that you can be tight with and just deal with them, and don't deal with nobody else, and don't worry about other people, and just do your own thing. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, I, but I don't see it. I don't see it going anywhere. Ain't going anywhere because people like drama. <laughs> it always, <laughs> always have for many, many many years, man. So it ain't gonna change. But yeah, sometimes it can be bad, real bad. Um, myself, man, I, I think it's one of the dumbest damn things to do, um, to sit there and and cause drama or, you know, want to wanna start beef with someone and, you know, trying to manufacture beef, whether it be on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, I think it's quite dumb. And I don't really find it entertaining for myself because I'm, I don't like drama. I'm, I'm not a drama type person. Um, I stay clear of it as much as I possibly can. So um, for myself, the biggest thing that I can really advise anyone is to keep your circle small, keep your circle close. Um, yeah. Watch who is in your circle because sometimes the people that's in your circle can be the individuals causing the drama. If that's the case, then you need to kind of weed yourself away from those individuals because those will be the type of people that will cause unnecessary drama that you don't need in your life and don't need, you know, the extra stress. And mm-hmm. that's, that's something that, that I've done as I've gotten older. I mean, I'm not, I've, I wasn't involved into any type of, like, crazy shit or anything when I was younger. Um, mm-hmm. But with me being, believe it or not, I am very quiet. I am extremely quiet. And a lot of individuals that know me uh, know exactly how quiet I am. Um, I'm only quiet when I'm around individuals that I'm cool with or if I'm talking to individuals um, that I'm really, really tight with, then of course, you know, the shyness goes away, the quietness goes away, and I'm not as quiet as I, as I, as I normally am. 
But if I was in a room full of people and I did not know any person, you wouldn't even know I was there because I'll be in the back, in the corner somewhere, just sitting back, watching, observing, seeing, you know, how individuals act and see, seeing the type of person that I can possibly deal with or interact with that won't cause any type of unnecessary stress or anything to, to myself per, per se. So um, that will be my biggest thing, man, is just, just keep your circle small, but be, be mindful of the ones that's in your circle because sometimes the ones that are in your circle can be the ones that's causing you unnecessary problems that you don't need to. And just because you're associated with that person that is actually, you know, going through whatever drama with another person, you can be involved in it and you have no idea whatsoever that you're even involved, let alone um, being associated with that person that's actually causing a lot of the, the shit that's going on. Um, so that that would be just my advice that I can get to people, man, is just... Just keep your circle small. Like they said, you know, just stay to yourself. Don't hate on nobody. Hating on someone doesn't really get you anywhere. It's just just it's just unnecessary, man. Very, very yeah. unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. True that. Yeah. I um, guess that's one reason why I'm a loner. I can't fault you, brother. I can't fault you. I can't fault you at all. I cannot fault you. Um, so the other thing I have, worst experience you ever had in school. Um, if it takes you guys some time to think about it, I'll go ahead and start this off because uh, it must be some crazy shit. Hopefully, nothing, nothing too too wild for you guys. But for myself, um, the worst experience I had in school was being bullied, and um, I was bullied for a long ass time, man. Um, at least from third third grade to seventh grade I was bullied and um it really it really really got the best of me and I, and that's part of the reason why now um I am the way I am as far as you know kind of being quiet to a sense and being to myself to a, to an extent is because of the fact of being bullied and when you go through shit like that that has that has a huge effect on how you are as far as like an individual and how you act, how you interact with anyone, you know, socially in a way as well, too. Mm-hmm. It all stopped for me when I took martial arts. That's when this shit stopped. Um, people knew that I took martial arts and still tried and it did not turn the way that it thought they was going to turn. But it, it's, it was a couple of instances where actually where the, be, where the bullying became physical to the point to where the person or individuals, because it was more than one, that felt like they can actually physically bully me as well, too. Mm-hmm. Um, one time, this is the only time that I, I've ever laid my hands on a, on a female, but I was in elementary school, as I need to stress. I was not in middle school or high school, so I have never put my hands on a woman besides that. But this one, it wasn't even planned. I would definitely say that much. Um, I was in class. Once again, I was getting bullied by at least like five, six different kids in class. And so, you know, I put my head down to kind of just try to get my emotions together. And I remember this girl. I can't remember her name. uh, But I remember this girl had a birthmark on the side of her fucking face that looked like a big-ass coffee stain. And she did something to where she grabbed me. And was hitting me on my arm and on the side of my side of my uh, side of my head, and I just remember taking my hand and I just swung it as hard as I could, and I backstopped the shit out of her like like a pimp smack, and I backstopped the shit out of her, and I didn't know that I hit her until I happened to look up and seeing that my handprint was on the side of her face hey! because of how hard I had hit her. But she was light skinned too, so I need to also stress that. But still, <laughs> but still. Oh yeah, that made it better. But still, it wasn't like I said. I, I had my head down, so I just swung. I wasn't paying no attention. Like I didn't intentionally put my hand up and smack the shit out of her. You know, I had my head down. I just swung my arm up because of the fact that someone hit me, and I didn't care who it was. So when I hit her and I looked up, and she had like this mad look on her face, and I looked at her and I was like, "What the fuck you gonna do?" And then she just walked off and sat down in her seat. So then there was another mm-hmm. guy that actually, um, he, 
he waited until I went into the bathroom because I said something that he didn't like. And so um, I went into the bathroom to go, go use the bathroom. And as I'm about, as I'm washing my hands, I hear the door open. It's like, you know, one of those scenes you see in a, in a movie where they hear the door open and everyone looks to see who it is. And then when they see that, if it's that person that, that's, that they're having a problem with, then it gets like real quiet. So the door opens. I look over. I see it's him. The first thing I thought to myself was he's about to try to fight me. I knew it mm. automatically without, without even questioning. I already knew it. So, um, so I'm sitting there washing my hands. I'm about to try to walk out the actual uh, bathroom. He stops what he's doing. He cuts me off. And he was like, you think you're going to get away with just saying that and not being no consequences? And so I'm just like, so I'm saying in the back of my mind, I'm like, a fucking movie? What the I'm, hell exactly, man. I'm just like, I'm like, dude, I don't want to fight you. I was like, I don't want to fight you. He's like, I don't care what you want to do. He's like, you going to fight me or you ain't getting out this bathroom. So then he had one of his friends block the door to keep me from leaving out of the bathroom too. Wait, 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 wait. You should have school or you're in prison. It's, it's a fucking school. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure we're on the same page. This, this, this is, this is, elem- this is elementary school in D.C. That's some prison shit right there. Yeah, elementary school in D.C. Oh, elementary shit. school in D.C. So, uh, so I ended up getting into, or well, he, he, he was about to try to do something. He pushed me and I pushed him back and then he swung at me. And I dodged. And I can't remember what I did. I did something dealing with martial arts. I do, I do remember that much. And after I did that, he stopped bullying me. And then once it was all over with, and his friend was blocking the door, and I just looked at him, and his friend jumped out of the way extremely quick. And like, this nigga a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's a ninja. So, <laughs> so to this very day, he's so stupid, man. So to, this very, so, so to this very day, yeah, I, I, I won't even, I won't even disagree with you, brother. I am, I am a certified black belt now. I am a second degree black belt. So, so please, please tell me at that time you had an afro, please. Nah, man. I, I, I <laughs> come was, on, come nah. on, man. You fucked that up. God damn it. Nah, but I had this, I had the short haircut with with the line, uh, going, with the line going past the shape up. I had the damn. line on the head. Um, epic dude, epic. So I mean, even now, even now, like you know, we, I see him. I'm cool with him now. You know, we're real cool. He'll bring it up every once in a blue moon as far as what happened into the bathroom, you know, with the fight or whatever. And you know, we'll laugh about it. But you know, at the time, it was one of those things to where I, you know, I was just tired of it, man. I was tired of getting bullied. My mother knew I loved martial arts, and uh, the first martial arts movie I had ever watched was Bloodsport with John Paul mm-hmm. Van Damme. Okay. That's a good one. And so um, when I seen that, and then right after that, I seen Enter the Dragon. And then right after Enter the Dragon, I seen yeah. The Last Dragon, where, you know, with, oh, with, yeah. Bruce, with Bruce Leroy. So, um, <laughs> so enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That badass, uh, badass outfit that that man was wearing in that damn movie. Yeah. So um, for me, I mean, like I said, man, bullying, being bullied was one of the worst experiences that I've ever had in school, man. Yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> wow! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Man, uh, the worst experience I had, I was in high school. And, you know, growing down down here in the South, still dealing with racism and stuff like that, right? Probably. But I never, I never thought that I would get it from uh, another black person, right? <laughs> really? God, damn. Really? Yeah. Damn. And, and, was... a, and a teacher at that. Oh. Mm. Man, uh... Okay, I'll never forget. Um, I never did my work in, in 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 science. I love science. Science just was like second nature to me. Mm-hmm. I didn't have to study for tests or anything like that. I always passed my tests. I never did my work, and the teacher never could figure out why. So there was this girl named Melissa, a white chick named Melissa, and we used to sit in the back of the class, and and I would help her out with her work because she was having problems and I was also joke around a lot, right? Right. So um one day she was acting strange and I'm like, what's up? She didn't say anything. She said, I'll talk to you after class. Got out of class and she told me that our teacher, Miss Roberts, black lady, said that um for her not to sit near me anymore. And I was like, why? Because she said, you don't want anything out of life. And you're not. She told that to Melissa. 
said that I said that I didn't want anything out of life. I wasn't going to be anything. And, you know, all this and that. So, yeah, after she told me that, man, I, it, I mean, that was a shocker. That, that, that hurt, so did you, you know. Did you I tell mean, your parents what happened? No, I, 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 matter of fact, I, I, this is the first time I ever really talked about it. Oh, man, that's crazy as shit, man. That's yeah, crazy. Absolutely, man. Damn. That's crazy. I, I know damn well if I told my parents about some teacher saying some shit like that, Oh, it'll be it'll be desks moving and chairs moving. <laughs> oh, hell. All in that classroom. All in Damn. that classroom. Yeah, man, racism crazy, man. Yeah, but that was that was the worst experience, man. man. That's crazy. All people. All people. Um I think my, my worst experience was uh I was in um in uh in middle school, we going to woodshop mm -hmm. and uh, I was whistling. Was going to out of class, and he had this one dude behind me. <clears throat> he was like the class clown. Thought he was a badass to everybody. So he's behind me with some other dude. Right, we go into Woodstock. I'm in the front whistling. He said, "Bitch, stop whistling." Oh God! I'm like, man, hey man, you make you see what to do, baby. My damn daddy. So I kept whistling. <laughs> he said, "Man, quit whistling, man." I said, "I, I, I, I ignored him, right?" Mm -hmm. Like, you keep a whistle, I'm gonna kick your ass. I like, man, you ain't gonna do shit, man. So I said, what's again? Dude, he literally kicked me in my ass, dude. Oh, no. Hell no. In the crack of my ass. I mean, hard, yo. So I turned around, Matt, grabbed his ass, put a jacket over his head. Dude, what's so well on his ass, man? But, dude, the fact that he kicked me in my ass that hard. Oh, yeah. It just surprised the hell out of yeah. me, man. It, yeah, it's like a shocker, but when, once reality sits in, it's like, you know, yes, forward. man. Like I ain't never knew somebody actually kicked somebody in the ass before. Man. I think I'm the first human that got somebody kicked his ass before, man. Literally. You know that just reminded me, man. Um, as you guys know, me and the wife actually went to the same middle school, so I, yeah. I've known her for a long ass time. We actually had the same. We had the same wood class, and, and just I just I don't know why this came up in my mind since it's here or something. I actually got kicked in my ass too, but not in the crack of my ass. <laughs> not in the crack of my ass, but this is how it all happened. So it was this dude that, that played basketball or whatever. He was in the class. Everyone liked him and stuff like that. I was cool with him. I thought I was cool with him. And so um, I'm sitting there doing, you know, my project. And then he comes up beside me and, you know, he's talking to me. And he, like, patted me on the back. But, you know, I'm not thinking about it because I'm cool with him. So I get up. I go towards the back to where my stuff is at. And then all of a sudden, this girl comes up behind me and starts kicking me. So I turn mm -hmm. around, and I, I jacked her up, man. I, I jacked her up. Like, I grabbed her and was shaking the shit out of her, asking her what the fuck her problem was. And then um, all of a sudden, uh, one, of, one guy that I, actually, that I actually was cool with um, came up behind me. He was like, yo, Charlie just put a uh, put the sign on your back, and I he took it off my back and gave it to me. And it was a fucking kick me sign. It was a kick me sign. I was mad, dude. I was heated. I was fucking heated, man. I was heated. I was heated. Like that. That is one of the. <laughs> that's one of the memories that is prominent in my mind. Like that, it won't. It will not ever leave, man. It will not ever leave my mind at all. Dude, at all. Dude, why, why you always getting fights with girls, man? That's, that's the only two. That's the only two instances. And it wasn't even a fight with that one. The first one. The first one. You was, you was slapping up. You soaking them, man. What the fuck is going on? I see a pattern here, man. Nah, man. Reese, you in there? Reese, Reese, you in there? Like it, you all right? Nah, I ain't. I didn't choke her. I grabbed her by her arms and shook the shit out of her. That's the, that was the, the extent of that. But I honestly, man, honestly, dude, when that, when that incident happened in elementary school, you know, you're a kid, so you don't think anything about it. You know, the only thing you're told is that, you know, if someone hits you, hit them back. And, you know what I mean? It's still like that now where you get women that just hit on a guy and thinking that the guy ain't going to punch the shit out you. And then when he yeah. punches the shit out you, then all of a sudden you want to cry victim. It don't work like that. It's man, not like change, man. Time to change, dude. Can't touch a booty no more without getting in trouble. 
with. <laughs> can't accidentally fall on a girl and gravitate. I mean, oh. at elementary school and, and, and middle school, you just got a butt. She's like, she giggles, man. It was cool. We don't do nothing. <laughs> you do that shit now, you're going to jail, man. Did you ever have that, uh, what they call Freaky Friday? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, that last week I went. What, 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 what you talking about? Freaky Friday? No, man. What the hell was that? It's uh pretty pretty much as it sounds. Like guys, <laughs> guys are doing whatever. They're not almost to an extent to girls, and they're not being a problem. That's crazy. I know. I just been high. Go get it. <laughs> I remember. Those, I remember those games. Oh remember, man. <laughs> Oh man! Game. Hey, I go get it. Was fun, boy. See, yeah. All right. yeah. I I got a story for you, man. Okay. All right. Um, I got a feeling it's gonna be some crazy shit, man. We was in high school. We was in ninth grade. Just got there. Okay. And this girl, we was playing hide and go get. She would hide her panties, and whoever found the panties would get it. Get the uh, get out of here, dude. That, <laughs> that's that's that's, <laughs> that's that's the whole other level, brother. That is a whole other level. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Who? How how bad? Was, how, how, bad was, how bad was how bad was they were they searching for him though? That's the question. Oh, during lunch. Oh man, every dude. During lunch. <laughs> Every hey, every dude, black, white, Hispanic, was all searching oh, for them. Shit, man. What the fuck? They smell like pina coladas. Shit. <laughs> but hey, it smell like bacon. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh my god, dude. This one dude found him, right? <laughs> oh shit. No lie, he found him. They uh, were in the boys' locker room in mm, the gym. Mm. He was just about to get all up in it, and the principal walked in the car. Mm, 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 mm. Cause mm. Was, check this out. The principal was going down there because there was some some older dudes down there smoking weed. Damn mm. man! <laughs> God damn man! That's how Yo, you, that that is, that is to a whole different level, brother. Yo, Leroy, oh. you going to lunch? Nah, man, I'm going to try to find Peggy's package, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come? I'm going too. Hold up, man. I'm going to find the panties first. It's like a fucking what? mouse looking for cheese, man. Hey, God damn. That's some crazy soft game. That's deep soft game right there. <laughs> Literally. Literally. I bet you, I bet you. How about you had people that were looking for the panties was cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Oh, man. shit. Um, next topic or the next couple of topics, we're going to let uh, Reg take over. So he got some information for us about with the uh, French law and then uh, something about Mass Effect. So um, go ahead and take it over, brother. All right. Um, as of January 1st, 2017, the French passed the law that um, no job can call you or send you an email after you leave the office. Mm. And I was wondering, do you guys think we should implement that here in the U.S.? I think it depends. It, it really depends on the profession that you work. But at the same time, I think at, like you shouldn't really call anyone after they left work and expect them to respond in a timely manner. If I'm off the clock and I'm not on company time, fuck the goddamn job. That's how I feel. <laughs> like, it's no way in hell that um, I should be, you know, I, I what's the best word I can use? Um, held to a standard of having to respond to a company email or, you know, a text from like a boss or something like that in a, in a timely fashion. Um, my wife dealt, had dealt with this one instance at her uh, old job where she left work. She left at her time that she was supposed to leave. And her boss called her back to the store or tried to get her to come back to the store telling her that she didn't dismiss her. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, you don't work your goddamn scheduled time and you're going to sit there and tell her that I didn't dismiss you so you can't leave? Like, are you serious, man? Like, are you yeah. really serious? So, it was just one of those things where it, I was just like, I, that's when that's when I really, really, you know, feel 
how people, how, how they would make a law like that. So that way, you know, people shouldn't be bombarded with work all the time. It is a reason why you do go home and why you do have days off and stuff like that. Yeah, because um, um, the French are saying that, that um, they're noticing a lot of uh, people are getting becoming, like, uh, stressed out and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then they're um, attributing the obesity rate in, in France um, to that. Oh, you know? really? Wow. Yeah, because people are stress eating, you know what I'm saying? Ah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and stuff like that. So, and plus, I, I like the law. I think we should. I think some companies have, have already started implementing it on their own here in the U.S. because um, I think a senator just got something passed where if you work like one minute after your scheduled time, mm -hmm companies are going to have to start paying you. So that includes if they send you an email stating, hey, you know, that's dealing with work. Wow. So, um, yeah, so they don't want to pay that money, so, you know. Yeah, so they, they stop start that. doing it. Yeah, they'll stop it. Yeah. yeah I understand. Yeah. But the French yeah. already, check this out, they already got a 35-hour work week. 35-hour work week? 35 hour. 35. They get no more. 35-hour work week. I work fucking 45 hours a week. Thank you. Bonjour. <laughs> Jeez, 35-hour work week? Yeah, 35 hours, man. I'm like, yeah. How you feel about it, Sincere? Uh, yeah, I can just implement it, man, because, you know, people calling you after work, they should be paying that money, too. They don't want to pay that extra money, but they want you to do extra work. And if it's a night shift job, you figure the person... That's when the night shift is supposed to be a lead or a supervisor, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And if they can't do the job, they're still calling you at night, then, yeah, you definitely be making more money. Yeah. So either pay the money, pay more money to your employers when you call after hours, or just don't call them after hours. So I think it should implement it for everybody. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think that's a good idea, too. Mm -hmm. Man, and um, I got some information for all the gamers out there. Like myself. Mass Effect, the new one, Andromeda launches March thirty first. I mean March twenty first. It's going to okay. be on P, going to be on the PC, PS four, and Xbox One, mm. and it's going to be taking place after the uh, Mass Effect trilogy. It's supposed to be years after the Mass Effect trilogy. You know, they made the last Mass Effect what um, twenty twelve. Right. Right. Yeah. So. This is supposed to be taking place after that. And it's going to be an open world, so... You can... Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Open world, huh? Yeah. I think it'll be better than that No Man's Sky shit. I can pretty much guarantee that yeah. much. I, um, I only played Mass Effect a little bit on my iPad. I never played it on a console before or a PC. It seemed pretty cool, though. I'll probably play it and try it out. Yeah. I mean, I got a should... so I'll definitely try it out. Sure. I actually want. I actually want to get <laughs> No Man Fly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because uh, they just had they just had a major major update. So apparently he's fixing stuff now. So apparently he gave some free stuff to people who play it, and he's fixing the game up now. And now he's actually going back and, and trying to correct what they didn't do before. So we'll see how that turned out, though. But yeah. they 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 feel real behind, real yeah, people just hating on them. Hate them up so bad, so I don't even know. If, people are still playing it, but I don't know how many new people will be going back anytime soon. I would like to play it. I think it looks interesting, and the concept seems pretty dope. Um, but if he's not gonna, you know, fix and have what he said the game should have, then yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. But yeah, exactly. I, I, I yeah. he's trying to fix it now, so we'll see. <clears throat> well, as far as for me, you know the. I, I don't really play too many Xbox games, so I'm, I'm glad that they actually bring it on PS4 because I think at one point it was only exclusive to, like, Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, if I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comment section below. But um, I'm glad that they're going to, you know, make it an open world type thing because I think that'll add a different, uh, a different aspect and a different uh, wrinkle to the actual game itself because it's pretty, it was pretty linear um, as far as the previous one, so... It's going to be interesting to see how they how they actually do this and, and making it an open world game. Um, only game I'm really 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 hyped for right now is coming out in three weeks, which is Resident Evil Seven. 
that, that is the shit that I've been waiting for. And I know it doesn't have to go, it has nothing to do with what the story is about, but I just want to stress that I am, I am anxious to get my hands on this shit in, in three weeks. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't even checked to see what's coming out next month or two. I don't even know what's coming out yet. Yeah, they got it's a, it's a whole list of stuff, man. Like, uh, good thing yeah. about being subscribed to GameFly is that you get a, you get a chance to see all the upcoming releases, even when it's like you know months in advance. Um, like one yeah. of one of my subscribers, Esco, got to shout you out, brother, because you've been asking me to play this damn game for the longest. Um, but he want, he's been begging me to play um, South Park Fractured but Whole Truth game that's coming yeah. out in March. Oh man, yeah. yeah, I remember when he started. Yeah, so he's, been, he's, been, he's been begging me to play it, and and I promised that man that I'll be playing it. It is it is on my queue. It's at the top yeah, of my wow. queue, so I'll be playing it. I watch the trailer for that. Uh, it's gonna be fun, man. Yeah, it, it'll be funny as shit to play. It'll definitely be funny, but that's the one thing like I, like I love about GameFly is the fact of um, just looking at the titles of of what's coming up, you know, within you know next couple months, even like the next you know couple weeks or something like that. So to really really see in detail like exactly what's coming out is awesome. Is such a great thing, man. Such a great thing. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Um, what else you got, brother? Oh. Don't forget next Thursday the uh, Switch Nintendo Switch event. Okay, yeah. And oh, next Thursday. You, thank you for reminding yeah. me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna watch that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, so, sincere, what you got for us, brother? And I know you got three things that you want people to watch, and then uh, the last yeah. one is for a funny story. So, uh, I'll let you go ahead and take over. Yeah, yeah. I think we kind of do like a little entertainment thing too, and you know, we're gonna mix this up, uh, this this podcast up with a lot of different topics just be ready so uh these are three shows or yeah three shows i think y'all be may want to start watching uh the first one is called speechless it's on abc on wednesdays and it's about a family it's a family of five um one of the kids has uh uh oh, single yeah. palsy and uh and they hire this this black guy to be his like watcher so if he goes to school, he, he's with them all the time. And the, the, the guy in the wheelchair who had the uh, Cedro, uh, the Cebra has a laser in his glasses. And he shoots this laser light on his wheelchair that has, like, letters. He spit words out, and he was saying for him. Mm-hmm. So he's not, like, part of the family, man, but it's a, this crazy family. They, like, <laughs> they move in this house, man, and they're, like, you know, to the neighbors, they ain't gonna clean their yard. They not the type of family that can do anything to uh, bring up the value of the property. The the roof has a, a plastic cover on it. Yeah, fuck. And they, they ain't trying to fix it. You know, they just living now. That's just how they are. Man. Uh, the mom got a. Uh, uh, the mom is uh, actually a mini driver. That's who playing the mom. She, you know, I yeah. like her already, and she has that that England accent. But man, she is so protective of the family. And they, they just don't care about anything, man. But it's a really good show. And I think that's something y'all might want to check out. So it gets called uh, Speechless or ABC on Wednesdays. Okay. Hey, um, V, did you see the episode where, um, hey, the black dude is from Reno 911? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the big, big bug eyes, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But did you see the episode where he was in the shower and she came in and she was like, "Oh yeah, screaming and then looked down and kept Look looking down. up and kept, kept looking." Out. Yeah, got a little scallop peek of it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, man. The the, the guy, the the uh, the handicapped kid in the wheelchair, man. He's a, he's actually he, in real life he has cerebral palsy, but he also um, uh, palsy. He also. Uh, has it for real life. He he actually kind of living his life for real. That's what he has for real. But he's so funny in the show, man. Yeah. Even though he can't talk, whatever his actions, he responds, yeah. his looks. Yeah, that's all hilarious. it takes sometimes, man. That's all it takes. Wow. I got to definitely check uh, it out. You got to check it out on uh, see if it's on Hulu Plus. Oh yeah, it'd be on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it is. Uh, mm-hmm. So next thing I think y'all may want to check out is. On YouTube, go to Nike's channel and check out the new Kevin Hart ads, uh, where he just got his Nike and he just got his uh, Nike Apple Watch. So the first video kind of takes place where he first gets the watch, uh, the Nike uh, Apple Watch. He puts it on and then apparently he disappears. Nobody know where he goes. 
<laughs> then he cut, comes back gone. He's in the desert running. So now he's just running. He has this, <laughs> he has this long Santa Claus beard. It's, it's not white. It's black, brown. But it's a long beard and mustache. And he just running and running, man. Then yeah, the next one would be like he's sitting down and talking to the rocks and saying the rocks got wisdom. And, <laughs> and, and he say he's trying to catch he's trying to catch Mo Farrell, you know, Mo Farrell, the British uh, uh, Olympian. <laughs> Trying to catch him, but you gotta watch. It's like six of them out there. It's like day ninety eight. He's still running, just running. He said, "I, I, I, I want to go run north." Then I said, "Well, whatever, what, what I run south." So then I turned around, I went south. Then I said, well, "I put in a curve in it and go east." So now I went a little bit north, south, a little bit east, and I'm still running. You just gotta watch it, man. It's hilarious, but it's great. And you know, like thirty seconds a piece. That sounds so, like sounds like a, a mix of Forrest Gump and uh, Castaway. At the same it's, time. it's crazy, man. You gotta watch it, man. That's on the Nike's YouTube channel, and that's Kevin Hart. Uh, next thing you might want to watch is on YouTube too. It's called the Deal Guy, and this guy every day gives you like the best deals of stuff to buy. Like I bought maybe half of my my uh, Christmas gifts because of his suggestions, and his prices that he gets get you down to. Right, right. But he's called the deal guy, and everything he shows in the show, he gives away free. So he's giving away, man. I'm talking about thousand dollars shit wow. from time December to now, and he still does it. Right now, he's a CES right now, and he's like one of the first ones they allowed into the CES before he was even really put together yet. And he was giving away these uh these VR headsets right there. And he just randomly shoot people names uh, in the chat who do the comment. But uh, but far as deals, he, he straight up gives you the best deals of of tech stuff. Period. Uh, and again, he's called the Deal Guy. And he's on YouTube. Definitely go check him out, everyone. Definitely go check him out. I'm I'm definitely going to look him up after we get done with the podcast for sure. <laughs> yeah, man. And then sign up, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and then everything that he shows you on a deal, he gives it away. Yeah, definitely go check him out, guys. Every, everyone definitely go go support him, go check him out, and uh, go subscribe to him, man. If you if you really enjoy his stuff, I mean, it sounds like some really, really dope shit. So, a lot of times, if Sincere suggests it, especially when it comes to a channel, it's, it's got to be something that that really stands out because he just don't say that to anybody. That's, I can yeah. I can vouch for that. I can definitely vouch yep. for that. Yeah. All right, and then next we're going through some funny stories. Oh God. Oh God! Right. These not these not these not as crazy as the last ones we did, but they still pretty. I think pretty funny. I, bit, I would right? I would agree. I can't wait right. to hear this. So the first story is like this big big news. I don't know if y'all knew this, but Vladimir Putin was arrested in Florida. <laughs> arrested in Florida? So, yep, yeah, he was in Florida. He got arrested in Florida. What happened was apparently he was in the store screaming and yelling at a coworker. <laughs> and I, I mean, a, a cashier. Mm -hmm. And the cashier kept telling him to leave. He wouldn't leave. Finally, he left, but he came back and started going off on the cashier again. The police arrived and arrest him, but he would never give him a real name. He would say that my name is like Tom and Jerry or something like that. He gave him a okay. false name. Okay. And finally, they finally got some information on him and found out his name was actually Vladimir Putin. Really? He's black. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> They probably, thought it was name, a joke. they probably thought it was a joke. It's like, you ain't no fucking Vladimir Putin. We know what he looks like. We know what he sounds like. But he, he no, no. He, he wouldn't give him a real name at all. He would give him a fake name. He never even said Vladimir. Oh, so, he just gave him some, so they some found fake out name. After, after they, 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 yeah, they pulled up some more records. They found some records and found out that his real name is actually Vladimir Putin. <laughs> 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 I've been giving oh, fake names oh. all fucking day long, man. All God, day long. Man. Their names, man. A whole new definition of a black Russian. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't dug a lot, though. Uh, so, uh, y'all know, know the saying, snitches get stitches, right? Right. Yeah. Do y'all think that could apply to cars, too? Mm, what? <laughs> yeah, stitches get stitches. Oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold 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 on, man. You can't, like, you gotta be shitting me, dude. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm asking a question. I mean, <laughs> can you know it, can it apply to cars? Yeah, could it? How can it apply yes, to no. cars? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't see how the hell this can apply to a car. 
Okay, all right, all right. Well, in this case, it just may. <laughs> it just may in this case. <laughs> so a woman, 57 years old, had crashed into the back of a Dodge Caravan, putting the female driver into the hospital, but she drove off. Okay. She left the scene of the crime, hit and run. Okay. Think if she got clear and free, her phone, I mean, her car, sends a emergency call to the police station saying it was in a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> and to press, to press zero to talk to the driver. So I operator press zero, talk to the driver. The driver said, no, I wasn't in a wreck. Our car pulled down in front of me, but nobody hit me. Oh, my and God. And that shit was clear. But the, but the operator said, that's weird. The car wouldn't call us unless it made damage. How did somebody come in front of it? So they done this investigating, and they couldn't find out the lady in the hospital said she was hit by a black Ford car, which was her car. Wow. It was a Ford Focus. <laughs> so in this case, this is Maggie Stitches. It may be for the car, too. <laughs> wow. How? <laughs> I, I don't even know why in the hell I even asked how is that possible. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. That's the, that's the, that's the new cars, man. I don't the even new know. Cars, get you in trip. <laughs> but he pissed this, though. He pissed in the hard, though. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe you won't beat your car, but oh Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Fucking cars dialing the operator now when you get into an accident. Yep, yep. <laughs> I wouldn't have thunk that. That's the last thing I would have thunk. <laughs> that what she did. Too, that she made it home safe. Uh, <laughs> just getting the car just told her you're the rich and dead. <laughs> just getting off scot free like it ain't shit happening. Uh, your car just told us you got wrecked. Dude, what? My car did what? <laughs> I didn't even pay for that service. <laughs> All right, this is the last story. Oh, you know, shit. a lot of men have problems with the size of their penis. Some people oh, want it bigger. Yeah. Most guys they want it bigger, right? It's, it's, that's just a common guy thing. Everybody mm -hmm. discusses it, right? Uh, so apparently, this 52 year old Hispanic guy is claiming to have the world's longest penis. All right, he said allegedly it's been measured up to 18.9 inches. So oh, fuck. <laughs> now, most men probably was like, oh, shit, that's the bounce I had one of those, right? But he's saying it's not a good thing for him. It riddled him of, like, medical issues, and he can't, <laughs> it results <laughs> him not being able to hold a job, man. He can't hold a job. Now, he can't hold a job, and it's, it's, it's a medical issue. Now, I can see the medical issue part. Cause that thing get hard. He gonna pass out, man. Every time, man. All that blood going for oh, the brain to man. man. Oh, that, that's the feast of purpose. You get a heart, you faint. That's, I, that's, I, that's wrong. I just it, it, wow. I, I can see him not having a job. And, I I can't too. You know <laughs> exactly. Cause you sit, you sit at the table in the breeze and you shake your heart by mistake. Yeah, uh, think about it. You, you can't be a trash collector because the garbage can be banging up against it. You, yeah, man, you know? that's too much. I, that's too much, man. I don't want no problems, man. I don't want no problems. <laughs> yeah, man. So, problems. so, so, what he what he wants wants to do? He wants either minus or uh, Guinness Book of World Record to acknowledge that as a uh, a world record <laughs> for his penis. <laughs> Cause nineteen, I mean eighteen point nine inches is pretty long. Oh god! So he went to the doctor and to get an X-ray to show proof that it's real, not fake. So the doctor said, "Well, um, I gotta tell you something. You're not eighteen point nine inches. You're only six inches. <laughs> the, rest, the rest of it is loose skin." Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. 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 Hold on. Yo, x rays don't lie, man. Say that last part one more time. Okay, one so he went time. to go to he went to the doctor to get an x ray to show proof. That it is real, not some fake thing he has sold on or something. Okay. Well, the doctor came out and said, well, I got something to tell you. You ain't 18.9 inches. You're only six inches, and the rest of that is just hanging skin. <laughs> <laughs> some type of fucking medical condition that he had. Oh, God. 
<laughs> so ain't no world record for him, man. Now maybe it's a normal life. Oh, I don't know. Shit, that's all. His, all his hopes and dreams just crashed in the instant. <laughs> yeah, man. I think he ain't in a job. He probably just lazy. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> Gotta just gotta remove that skin, man. I don't oh, know how you pee all that skin off. <laughs> I mean, I would think like a balloon, like, like blown balloon. I would, I would fucking think if you gotta pee, you gotta stand up and pee. Unless he's sitting down when he's peeing it every day. Still, how you come out though? I, I don't. I, I don't. I can't. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to picture it. I can't say I, I can't picture it. That's like I, not, seven or eight inches of skin, y'all. I, I don't. Yeah, that's just. just oh God, man. <laughs> he gotta like stand up for like an hour and pull that shit back, man. Just to pull that back. <laughs> <laughs> that's the pee, dude. He gotta like two hand that shit. <laughs> pull it all back, man. <laughs> that's crazy, man. I mean, you got no man. He got no girlfriend, man. Oh god. He got no he got no woman. Somebody going through that shit to my work. Yeah. <laughs> Every night I got a rapid I got a rapid dick. <laughs> <Yes, sir. laughs> oh shit. Every night I got a rapid dick to get some. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like a present. It's like a fucking surprise. Again, you ain't eighteen, you're only six. <laughs> Oh man! All right, man. That's it for me. I'm oh, done. Oh God, man! My eyes are watering so bad, dude. Oh I'm my done. God! I'm done. Oh shit! What a way to end the podcast, man! <laughs> what a way to end the podcast. The model of this story. You think you think it's 18 inches? It's really just oh, six. God. Oh my God! That's that skin. <laughs> that, that, that alone. That one line alone, I I just had to make sure I was hearing it right. I had to make sure I was hearing it right. That's why I had to stop you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, episode nine, I think I said, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Episode what? nine is now as a rap. It's nine? Yeah, yeah so. man. Yeah, it's been like nine now. Now in the raps, anything you want to leave for everybody? Um... We are still getting guests. We're not going to get guests again until we get this right yeah. <laughs> on a constant basis. Yeah. We've had Roberto on here uh, uh, Ramon. Ramon three times, and they all failed. I, so. think, I think that Mexican guy still that stuck in the back of your head, brother. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> so uh, we will not get anybody else as a guest until we get this shit together on a constant basis uh continue to support all channels social medias leave comment turn on your notifications for all our channels so you could be one of the first to hear and know when our content is being posted absolutely absolutely you right yeah oh man um just stay positive mm. stay away from all that drama mm -hmm. number eight, 18 is episode nine yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I don't have anything else to add, man. Uh, I echo those same same words exactly. We just uh, thank you guys for for listening and for supporting us as usual. And uh, we will continue to keep doing these because we enjoy these a ton, and uh, we get a lot of fun, as you guys can probably tell from uh, getting together and having so many different topics of conversation, man. So uh, thank you guys once again, and, and thank you for listening. So, that will do it for us on episode 9 of the Trifecta Podcast. I'm your man, Taylor May Boy, here with Sincere B and Reg 1167. And we will see you guys next week on the next episode. Till then, guys, later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>